Uh, and we are going to cut back to right before you walk in. This is uh, Dawn figuring out. You were looking towards the time, what, with the 19... What era? Yeah, uh, when Adele moved in, which was in okay. the mid-20s. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, you... Um, I think you find entries describing her friendship with Adele and how she had felt so alone, you know, with, with Michael's passing and just had shut herself in. Not only because of her uh, illness for a while, but also because of Michael. And um, she felt happy to have someone that she could connect to. Um, you will also find, as the entries go later, talking a little, like, talking a little bit about how there, she felt something in the house, in the presence, and how she had noticed things, animals, like dead animal carcasses just around the house. Like, first it was a rat, and then it was several squirrels, and then it was larger animals. And how there was an article, like a tabloid article in one of the papers about how, like a 17-year-old kid said he got, you know, had a rash and was feeling super ill after, like, coming close to the house on a dare, but it was kind of brushed off as being, you know, the the rich introverts and having a cursed house it was written off, but she was being worried about it. And, well, the journals get more erratic as it goes on, and once it gets to, I think, 1930-ish, she talks about how she had heard the music and how she had felt his presence growing closer and she had to do something. And she talks about a rift she had with Adele and how Adele disagreed. And then the entries stop around 1930. However, after that, there is a there are still, like as, at towards the end of the journal, like right after the last entry, there is some there is writing and you can read some of it. Uh, it's also a bunch of symbols and talks about basically what seems like a ritual called Convoci Leomo Nero. That's what's labeled on top. That's Italian. Sure is. I think. Uh, I think that's Italian. It sure sounds like that. I flip it around and I shove it towards Alice and I say, D does this, what, d does this... Does this does this mean does this mean anything? I pull you? out my smartphone. Here, point it at me. I'm gonna just have my uh, Google <laughs> okay. Translate on my phone translate it. Yeah, that definitely worked before. <laughs> uh, Alice, are you gonna roll? Well, I'll do that in a second. Are you going to roll? Are you gonna try to read it? Well, I try to read the ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Read Is it. Out it loud. Okay. Is the yeah? That seems like a great idea. Um, <laughs> Can you read that right for me? Just uh, a. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it in Italian? Is it in? A, uh, is the ritual are, in it's, Italian? It's kind of, no, it's kind of mishmash. There are some English translations. There is some Italian in there. Um, but you think you could understand most of it if you tried? Okay, then I will try. But I'm not reading it roll, out loud. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Roll uh, in uh, roll intelligence or a cult. Uh, I got a thirty-two out of. Uh, where the fuck is intelligence? 80 for intelligence, and my occult is... I can't find any... 40, it's 40. Uh, so you succeeded, you succeeded on both? Yes, sir. You can roll a d6. Am I gonna die? Gonna four. Okay, uh, you can add four to your unnatural skill. Ooh. Ooh. And roll a d6. Uh, five. You lose five sanity. Great. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, I think you take some time, like, and Rod, you walk in while she is, like, studying over this book. The other two are doing whatever, but Alice is just nose deep in this book. Uh, Alice, you find out that this, this ritual is called Convoci Leomonero, which I think you can eat with, can, it's, it's something about summoning someone. Oh, stuff. great! That's terrible. However, like upon re cause you, I think with your roles, you understand it very. You like understand the ins and out of this. It is the same to summon as it is to banish. It is a consecration of a um, of a part of just of land, basically, is what this spell consecrates it to this bank. It is the same spell to un to banish it, get rid of it, mm. which takes a human sacrifice to do. Uh oh. 
Oh, no. <laughs> done and undone by the same method. Holy shit! I hate this game. <laughs> um. Okay. And, and it must be done with a bronze uh, bowl and. Where are we gonna get one of those? <laughs> Isn't it all? Don't we already have we all of the materials? <laughs> yeah, everything. Um, correct. Except for the body, the willing human or unwilling. We got, uh, we got a few. So, of those. <laughs> all right, y'all. Michael died of an accident. No, he did. And he would have done any. Yeah, yeah. He would have done anything to help. So uh, help. Does that include a you know, willing sacrifice? I'm assuming, yeah. Whatever. The thing that that worries me, though, is that the house is definitely full of other stuff besides just Michael. So, like, yeah, are those people? Yeah, who it's tried... wh whatever they summoned. Yeah, are they trying? Are the people like, cause, cause we saw a ghost of a little boy and stuff like that, and like, so are these people that like the ghosts that we're finding in the house? I'm sorry, Roger, it's ghosts. <laughs> I mean, ghost is a strong word. <laughs> uh, maybe this seems to be some sort of vision, some sort of alien attack. But uh, mm. I'll, I'll let you run with your theorizing, and I'll mm. keep my own theory. Oh, mm. I mean, this one. <laughs> so my problem is that if we're seeing the ghosts of dead people from the house that have died there before, have they died trying to do the ritual? Or is it just whatever dies there stays think there? So. I think it's that. I think it's if you die in the house, you die for real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's where the third <laughs> Nice! If I died Excellent, in my house, Dawn. I also Thank die you. for real, yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <stay> so... <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a shirt. So, the it has something to do with many voices. So, in that case, whatever is summoned wants many voices. I don't know that these people are willingly sacrificed in there. I I think that he takes them because hmm. he wants. Them. He needs. I'm not sure. So, in theory, we would have to if we wanted to do it via the ritual. We would have to sacrifice somebody there according to this book right if we want to stop Why whatever's happening there. Want... Oh. I don't... what's oh. up with all the mirrors and the goo world and the music sorry yeah you know mm. this might uh. be a little little awkward but uh what about the music i mean it's in the title <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but these certainly have been the musics from a darkened room. <laughs> as it may not. <laughs> Roger begins to bleed from the ears as he breaks the fourth wall. We we never determined where the music was coming from. We might there have is to... still half of the house we haven't looked at. We might have the to entire there. upstairs where there's definitely not a master bedroom. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we cannot, if we're doing that, we absolutely cannot split up. And if we go in there, I don't know that we will be getting out. If we go in there, we need a plan. We can't just go in there and look because this thing knows us. This thing wants us. We can't just go in there assuming that we can investigate and walk away unscathed. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've just been on the first date I've been on in 30 years. Uh, oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it, it was wonderful. It was it was like a magical evening. It was a cornucopia of pie. It was irresistible. But anyway, I don't want to die. So I'm going in there and I'm kicking. And I'm whipping. <laughs> and I'm going to blazing. Yeah, do you yeah. think the neighbors will recognize us? Do we need yeah. to go in disguise? Oh yeah, that's I right. Think... I mentioned that last time because there's a police like car parked outside to watch for hooligans <laughs> that we have a way to get in with via disguises if we want. I still have that usually with a summoning spell there's not always just one way to banish them. Yeah. 
That's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> I don't know, though. I don't know this summoning spell, and I'm not familiar with whoever they summoned. I don't specialize in Italian anything, but I have this ring, which was a last ditch effort. I don't know if that means that whoever uses this ring or the spell that I learned will also die. I'm not sure, but I could take that chance. Hmm. So what's our game plan then? Should we try and go back to the house? Rings ablaze. But maybe let's avoid the room with the blade. <laughs> nah, the should we break them? we have here has mirrors on the doors, doesn't it? Uh, it has doors on the yeah. If you open the armor, if you open it, there's mirrors on the inside. The armor. Can That's I, a lot of mirrors. We haven't poked around in that armor yet. <laughs> Wait, no, you, we haven't investigated that. I'm gonna search nope. them right now. Uh, yeah. If we haven't searched it. That's Speaking it. Of uh, mirrors. Cool. <laughs> we all just well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a good investigative eye. Twenty-eight out of sixty. That's a search you... check. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, it seems to be from the 1940s American modern style. Uh, it's made of oak, stained a deep brown, and it is mirrored. Uh, it's otherwise physically unremarkable. There's nothing else in here. Hey, Alice, why don't you try touching the mirror like how you touch the mirrors in the house? I will go up and touch the mirror. Roll a pow. <gasps> pow. 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 Roll in that pow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 45 out of 80. Oh, wait, that's good. Oh, no, that's yeah, fine. good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I you touch it. Well, how are you how are you approaching this? Describe it. Um, I think I would probably walk up and try to identically reproduce what I did in the other house, which was like kind of feeling around the edges and like leaning into it, and then I guess whatever mental process I went through to kind of push yeah. myself into that realm. That's what I was. That's what I'm trying to do. And she was never seen again. As you do this, as you do this, you feel you feel like you feel yourself connecting a little bit. You also feel the door closing a little bit on you, and Sorry, the other what? door slow closing in on you. Not like aggressively, but almost trying to close you into it. Am I going to Narnia? You you kind of see your your friends kind of block around you just out of the corner of your vision as it begins to, you stare into the mirror, into your reflection, and once again, you get the feeling of sinking into it, and you lose two willpower. You spend two willpower to do this. What you see is you're once again in that space, um, and you all see, you see Alice just kind of, she's in, she's now frozen. She's just not moving, holding on to this mirror. Uh, what you see, Alice, as you are now in this space, is you see a bronze bowl on the floor. And you see the silhouette of, I think now, who you are assuming to be Isabel. And you see her standing, and she raises the knife to her throat. <gasps> and you see a shadowy figure start to, like, coalesce right behind the bull. And she begins to move it, and the vision fades. Oh no! That is not what I was anticipating. Whoops! Wait, Whoopsie. how did we think Isabel died before? Just said it, she died in the sixties. Oh, uh, how old? How old does she look in this? Can I tell? Uh, you can't. You can't tell an age. It's shadowy. It's kind of you're seeing like silhouettes of things. You don't get clear vision. Y'all, it's probably the the lady that was in the mirrors with the knife. Could have been cutting up everybody. Yeah, if Adele left, maybe the house turned against her. Maybe. I think we need to talk to Jamie a bit more. Tell her what we know about her grandma and Isabel. See if she can help us. Well, uh, here's a couple of things we could do. Uh, we can either go back to Jamie's and ask her more about maybe her mom. Because we just talked about her grandma. But clearly that family has some supernatural stuff going on. So maybe we can figure out more about her mom and see what's going on with all that stuff and then also let her know all the stuff we know. Uh, or we could go back to the house during the day, sneak in as like gas inspectors and see what else we can find. But I feel like that's going to be the end. 
Uh, yep. Which, because it might trap us in there, and that might be really bad, so... <laughs> You can always give it another one of those hi though, Roger, right? Well, my, my, my knees hurt. They're still hurting. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll, I'll try. With, uh, Roger, why don't you text Jamie, because you have her number, and let her know that we found a spell in it in Isabel's diary. Text says, can we stop by in the morning? Found a summoning ritual spell we'd like you to take a gander at. Make sure you mention Isabel's diary from Isabel's diary, because that's from Isabel's part. diary. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Roll a roll a Christmas check. Charisma. Seventy-seven out of eighty. I'm very I'm good success. Uh, she sends a message back saying, "Really? That makes sense. Period. You can come by tonight if you want." Let's you, I think she says you and Alice can come back tonight. Mm, you do it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna Looks go to like sleep. Alice and I are gonna go go check it out. Uh, you want to grab the book? We'll put it in my saddlebag and uh, ride right off into the night. I don't know that I trust her, but let's go. Bring it. Well, me neither. You guys want to follow in the van? <laughs> Maybe park yeah, up. You know what? I'll block yeah, it back up. I can also be yeah. on can your. You, uh... I was gonna ask. Maybe you can wire me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Grab some of the microphones out of the kit. I start wiring Roger up. Shoving it in your ear. <laughs> yeah. Two microphones coming out of my curly bar mustache. It's just microphones Blended. literally everywhere. There's one that you, you go like so this, and one of them comes out of your tear duct. How did you do this? <laughs> Oh, the eye worms are bad this time of year. <laughs> you, make your, you make your way to. Uh... We we stop by Wise and Pimer's drive through and get a <laughs> slice of cherry pie for. Her. Nice. Uh, yeah, and you guys knock on her door with the two of you in. Staying a little bit away in a van, correct? Or in yeah. the Chevy Tahoe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll be on my laptop oh. and mic'd. She, uh, she opens the door, kind of looks around a little bit behind you and says, come in. Uh, sorry for the late call, ma'am. We brought you this slice of pie as uh, con uh, condolences is not the right word I want to use. Sure, sure, is, sure is, and she grabs the pie nope. and she, she looks uh, looks to you. You have the book? Uh, yeah, a good old Alice. She's the book handler. Yeah. She looks to you. Um, is there a place to sit down in here? I don't say that. I'm just wondering if there is a place there to is. sit down. Yeah, I think she like. I mean, she she's asking for, it, but you guys are close to the kitchen table you sat at last time. Um, I'm gonna sit at the kitchen table and keep the book in my hands and open it up and like slide it over just for her to look at it. But I'm not taking my hands off of it. Okay, I don't want her to have it. Uh, she pulls out some other like she. I think she's got some stuff laid out, but pulls up some other books as well and is kind of looking back and forth. Yeah, this is interesting. It makes sense. Um, I think this is how Isabel wanted to end it. The spell. And she point. I think she like, tries to pick it up and sees you and then just points to it. And what? Whatever was, whatever was and is haunting this place. So she want to use this here spell to stop the house from eating people. Yeah. Like Monster House. So I'm told. <laughs> like like the eponymous title Monster House. Um <laughs> but maybe a little more violent, yes. In this in this universe it's Academy Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> also rated NC seventeen for gratuitous blood and gore. I mean um Can I make a uh, let me make a good old like a psych no, is human intelligence? Humans. Human, let me make a human intelligence roll and see what I yeah. what I read off of this. Off of her, mostly. Yeah. Uh, 57 out of 50. Did not get it. She, as far as you can tell, she seems interested. She's like, she's looking back between the books pretty quickly and is kind of staring at both of them, just taking it all in. I mean, you you think we should give it a go? I mean, that's that's my question. Uh, she, she kind of looks up, sighs a little bit. I think you are at the same crossroads they were. There are two ways this 
can really end. Either you can try to do the spell like Isabel did, um, or you could try to do what my grandmother did and use the ring. Did how she did they try? With no, the she ring? wanted to. She I was about to say, to. how did they both die? <laughs> Real hot, quick. Oh, my grandmother died of natural causes. She was like ripped apart by elder gods. You know, <laughs> as <laughs> they do. <laughs> a good long life before. So, okay. I think. Thank you for your time. I think we have to go. If it was and, uh, high noon and you had to make a choice, which one would you do? Would you flip a coin? Would you tie the ring? Would you try this out? Uh, Personally. She looks a little nervous and uh, sips on her tea and says, I am glad I'm not in a position to have to decide. Because my grandmother wanted to try to do this, I think, without getting anyone killed, but it was dangerous. Killing someone, taking a life is a big deal, but it guarantees oh, other yeah. lives will be safe. I just realized we gotta kill someone for this other one. That's bad. <laughs> I don't I mean, think we're gonna have to. I don't. We're not she, gonna have to kill she anyone. Looks, she looks. She looks. Could have been chicken. Yeah. I, it's. It does say human. She like points to the book. It does say human right here. Yeah, you know. My... I am going to text Delta Green to let them know what our options are in solving this case. Ask them if they have a spare human on hand. Just give us some spares. <laughs> um, uh, they send a picture of Marshmallow back. No, <laughs> not that one. You can pick any of them but that one. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for your time. We'll uh, let you know how it goes. If we and make she, it. She, like, she's eating pie. Oh, yeah, please do. And she's like writing notes down in a journal. Good luck. Sincerely. It's... As soon as we get outside, I am over the comms going to say, if Isabel slit her throat trying to get rid of whatever's in that house, she failed. She killed herself and it failed. She sacrificed something and it failed. I don't think that's an option for us. That spell yeah. isn't an option for us. I agree. Sounds like six. I definitely don't like the idea of someone dying. I think we have to use the ring, and I think we're gonna need a plan. Yeah, you guys are all back together, and I think you're, I mean, we can just for, fast forward to you guys being in a hotel room, unless yeah. you- Hand wave it. Uh, roll, ba uh, roll bureaucracy, uh, Kenny. 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 <laughs> Kenny. 34 out of 58, I got it. I will mark that so I can uh, that. Uh, you, I think it takes a little bit to respond, but you get the response from the handler. The choice is in your hands. If you need someone, we can can see what we can do. I'm just gonna okay. leave that information to myself because I, <laughs> I don't even want to entertain the thought. Just like mm, I I don't that trust in Delta Green goes down just a little bit. <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, they didn't they didn't respond. Or they did, but they were just being a dick. They are just like, wow, that sucks. <laughs> LOL. Can I, LOL. Can, <laughs> can I, um... I, I agree with Kenny. I think we will find answers. We just need to go. I, I Maybe agree. Maybe in the morning. But we should have one plan going in there that we're gonna do, and... Then, if we need to audible, we should audible. I think the the spell doesn't sound like a great idea because it involves death. I say, worst thing is uh, someone puts on the old ring. We see what happens. You try your funny star thing, and if that does something cool, and if it don't, That's then we have two good. less options to try. Yeah. In all honesty, it might just be coming. We try the ring first, and if the ring just doesn't work, we gotta figure it out on the fly from there. And Here's pack the a lunch, because we might be in a different world. Bring the snacks. In alien world. We, if we go in there, and I have the ring, or whoever would like to use it, but I'm offering myself to use it uh, in case it's bad. You know how, so. 
Um, I don't know how to use the ring. I just know that they don't like it. That house is going to... That house is going to be more dangerous going in there with the ring. So if we don't have a plan, we will die. I feel like statistically, we will die. I mean, it could be you. If you feel like it's some sort of physical violence, I'd be happy to offer my assistance and I pull out my pistols because I can give show them Rocky Road, baby. I also <laughs> You can could. see their carved Rocky on one side and Road mm, on the other this. one. We should probably all go to the master bedroom or look <laughs> somewhere else. I was going to say we go in, we try to explore okay. as much of the house as we can first, see what happens. I say we follow the music if we hear it. That's a good idea. Probably bad, but... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. If we go in there with the ring, things are going to be very, very bad. This house is very good at A, taking people places they don't want to go, B, taking people places they do want to go, and C, making things up that aren't real, but you are convinced that they are. And they know us. They called us. So if we go in there, we're not going to be able to look around. We won't. That's not going to happen. It. We're going to go in there, and it's going to be war. Yeah, with probably. this place. So with that, it sounds like we kind of have a plan. I mean, plans are going to change. Um, but uh, we cannot split up. Yeah, no, we can. We cannot. We definitely can't. So do we want to go tomorrow, or possibly tonight? We should rest. Yeah. Before we go fight a house Battle. with a god in it. <laughs> we don't know if it's a god. It could just be a dick. <laughs> Most of, of them are. Some sort of dick, dick ghost. <laughs> the old dick ghost. <laughs> are y'all sleeping tonight? We're going to try. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I guess. You know, the only thing uh, I'd like to do is, uh, is the glove talking to me at all? Can Dave and I get any more out of it? Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you guys can... <laughs> What do you try to sleep we, we don't. Quiet. We don't have to make this too long, but let's just. I don't know if we could expedite through it. Is it doing any number thing or no? What do you, if you're just looking at it? No. If you try to do something, maybe. But if you're just staring at it, then no. <laughs> I see you staring at it. Ask it a question. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what you doing on there? <laughs> what you doing on there? Roll a charisma check. <laughs> 23. Just some hand lot. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Learning. Oh no. Mm, what you learning? <laughs> this new world. It's an alien. I'm sorry, Roger. I just roll back onto my cot. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what? Oh, don't you go to sleep, yes, son. Don't you go to sleep. Uh, I got a forty-six. So I. Uh, where's Where's my sanity? Oh yeah, I passed it. Yeah, you take one sanity. It's unnerving, but I think you're you're already in the shit. So. I'm, I mean, uh, well, yeah. Um, you got any plans? Like <laughs> after you're done learning. I. It stops responding after that. You feel it. You feel you feel the hair on your the back of your neck and arm kind of like fall down gently. Wait, wait! Don't you go to sleep yet? We're about to <laughs> battle something tomorrow. I just want to know if you got any special abilities. <laughs> if you feel threatened, will you respond with force? Roger, we're trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Can he just yell? We're all in the yeah, same roll, room. <laughs> roll, roll, roll a power check. Actually, uh, roll a strength check. Strength check. Yeah, that's better for me. I got it. Fifty-seven. Terrifying. Uh, you feel you feel like electricity begin to flow through your arm, and you feel your hand beginning to move independently a little bit. Do you fight it or let it happen? You have a choice. See. Uh, where do I feel like it's going? <laughs> you just feel your hand begin to move. That's it. I'll let it go. I'll let it ride. Let's see what's let happening. it ride. You feel the electrical impulse begin to control your fingers as your hand closes into a fist, and then the thumb slowly pops up. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I like him now. <laughs> I mean, if, 
If you can tango, let's tango. <laughs> Kenny's just rolled with his back towards Roger, and he just goes, so fucking cool, I'm so goddamn jealous. <laughs> I want a magical Nintendo Power Glove, buddy. <laughs> At least I've been infected by something cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you all roll a d6 um, to oh yeah something else oh just uh, sometime before I go to sleep I'm gonna text uh, Linny my sister and mm -hmm. say hey sis hope the shop is going okay uh, if you don't hear from me for a while I'm on vacation don't worry about it let mom know I'm fine oh uh, she says will do and sends a smiley face emoji forever vacation 